This is a very important topic. I'm taking up the chapter two. And I re labeled it as honey. The way we understand honey, it has nothing to do with it. So you see that we label, we label people, whether it is in our home or how we label them, businessman, beautiful, crazy, good, bad, husband, wife, brother, sister, miser, glutton. Uh, we simply label, depending on watching their behavior and their attitude. So we, our mind becomes very selective. Oh, we watch the behavior and attitude, and ultimately we say, oh, oh, crazy guy, good or bad, and so on, label. And there starts the journey of honey. I'm talking about a different honey. And that honey always causes problems and miseries in daily life. Not this honey, you know. I'm not talking with this one. It is our own mind. To understand that, let us uh, move in a little clear way. That the teacher in the Eastern wisdom and take an example of a psychotherapist or a psychiatrist. They both want to know what problem you have. They want to take your life history. They want to know for what problem you have joined, what are the symptoms, huh? and what are uh, how you are living your life. Psychiatrists instantly label you anxiety disorder, PTSD. Huh? Asthma, or if you go to a physician, asthmatic, oh, you have serious problem, get all the investigations done. You may be a diabetic, you may be a bipolar. You know, they label. They label. Do you see that? But the teacher in the Eastern wisdom never labels you, even if they take all your life history all your symptoms. That is the beauty. Teacher, you can say guru, teacher, whatever you want to say. They never label any person as asthmatic or bipolar or anxiety disorder or PTSD. But they take all your history and they understand why they do not take why they do not give a label. That is the most beautiful thing. A physician or a psychiatrist and a coach or a teacher in the Eastern wisdom, they both ask the same question. They want to know the symptoms and the feelings and the experiences. No difference in asking questions. But medical science, they gave you a brand. Asthmatic, PTSD, oh, look at this crazy. Unnecessarily suffering. Fighting with the honey. Yeah? That's a different honey that you understand. I'm talking of a different honey. You will understand that. Pay attention. So branding is instant based. Now this psychiatrist or a physician the moment you visit next time, their mind works through the label. Hey, how are you doing? You know, how is your diabetes? Your level is okay. Blood pressure is okay or not? Oh, did you cry again? No, 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 I didn't cry. Oh, no, I cried again. Okay, okay. So should I increase your pills or not? We teachers claim and declare that we both are essentially one. We both are real self. 
we are of the nature of peace and happiness. What's the problem? Problem is unveiling. The veiling power of the mind has created this problem due to the ignorance. And once the ignorance is removed, we are the same kind. Did you understand that? No consideration, no branding, no label. Teacher in the Eastern wisdom says there is no difference between the teacher and the seeker. They, they know that we all are of the nature of real self. So as a seeker, you feel the difference. So the teacher removes that difference by talk, by understanding the principles, by giving you the practice. Why there is a problem? Because I do not know that I am the real self. That is the problem. Are you getting it? I'm going slowly. Yeah. You see that? We are in the modern world so much hypnotized you see how i'm uh, presenting the talk based on the group we are so much hypnotized mesmerized by the medical science even if there is no problem we want to know what problem we have It is more than 80%. That is why we say 90% of our illnesses are SID, stress-induced disorders. Doctor knows it and still they brand you. They label. You are a diabetic, you are asthma, you are bipolar, you are PTSD. We don't give any tip. Only when the mind is manifesting those symptoms, only for that period you are different. You cannot be, you know, you cannot be, uh, I would say, you cannot be heavily conditioned with anxiety. You cannot live in anxiety 24 by 7. There are always moments when you are calm, when you are relaxed, when you are wise, isn't it? We don't, you know, these medical science don't see that. They see a momentary symptoms and they brand you. We are going to talk about time. And everyone in the world has some kind of reaction. They, we all become anxious in some situation. It may be hereditary. It may be cultural, social conditioning. Right? Now I'm coming. Have you not seen in your relationship, you know, maybe Sophie might be saying, John, I don't like this, you know, don't do that. Maybe Charlie, maybe this. We all have the same, more or less, you know, it happens. Or maybe John may be saying to, to no, no, I don't take the videos of this. Pay attention. They are going deeper. So now ask yourself, who says this? You know, I don't like this. You are my honey outside. I love you. I have been living with you and still I don't agree.
Who is that in you? I'm talking about that, honey. So, well, if the John continues to do what Sophie doesn't like, for example, I don't know about your personal life. So, well, this is just an example. So then what happens? John continues to do what Sophie doesn't like. Then what happens? Create a disliking. You react. So now tell me, do you love the honey that is outside or do you love the honey that is present inside? that says, I dislike it, don't do it, then only I will love you. But if you do it, I don't tell you. And that honey is our ego. We love our ego without knowing it. No, 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 I'm not egoistic, okay? If I appreciate you, will you not be happy? You love your ego. If I criticize you, don't you get hurt? You love your ego. You cannot say that you don't have it. Don't say that. You cannot say that. Are you understanding? For the sake of that honey who is sitting inside me, I love it the most. Nobody loves the honey outside. The deeper and the greater, the intense love that I have for my ego. You cannot say no. Say yes. I get only frustrated because I love my honey that is sitting inside much more than the honey who is talking to me, who is living in relationship. And we are not aware of that. We claim we are right. Who claims? My you. We love this honey much more than the honey outside. Will you like to live with the honey outside if he or she always criticizes the moment you wake up until the late evening? Tell me. Yes or no. So I love my honey that is sitting inside. You have rightly answered. Inner honey. Oh, you criticized me. You see that I'm so beautiful or handsome. And he or she criticized me. He or she is always criticizing me. And you know, now everything is done. Enough is enough. Who says this? Inner honey. Inner honey. So you dislike the other partner is, or any stranger, or brother, or sister, or stranger, or anyone, is constantly nagging you. You want to keep a distance with that guy. Is it not a fact? Instead, I should look into myself, what action I have done, what thought I have spoken, what thought is moving into my mind, let me correct it. I never look into that. Tell me. 99 out of 100 percent, we never look into this. I love that inner honey the most. And that honey keeps changing. Another problem is that with this inner honey. No, I'm very sorry, you know, I criticize you. 
I never meant that. You see how the inner honey changes its expression? I'm extremely sorry. I didn't mean that. Please, I'm sorry. But the next time I do the same thing. We have become an expert working with the inner honey. Now see that that inner honey changes its stand that makes me happy or unhappy. No outer honey makes you happy or unhappy. It is my perception and projection coming from the inner honey makes me happy or unhappy. I have a couple in, I'm coaching. The wife says, you know, I went outside, I took a puff of marijuana, then I saw my the space inside. I became one with the space. What problem you have, honey? I'm living in peace and happiness. This is exactly the statement. And the husband says, I'm pissed off why she is taking this. Closely observe the inner honey. Inner honey says, I love marijuana. Inner honey says marijuana is bad. My wife, my honey should not take it. Today they said enough is enough. Now we are, we have decided. You already know what they have decided to part with. They have to sell this house and we, we are done. Did the house make them crazy? Inner honey. What I love the most, if you don't agree, I can go to any extent in my life. Do you see that? So I told them that here is what is right and truth. Here it is. I threw the cushion in the middle. You approach also to what is right and good. You also approach what is right. Because if I say to them that it is your inner honey that wants to divorce, they will feel more hurt. So I said it's better not to hurt them. Are you understanding? That honey. That honey likes, it sticks to it. It becomes stubborn. I suffer while looking at the John who is living with me, for example. I don't, I always sad him not to do, but he's still doing. But he likes it. And I dislike. So inner honey are always in fight. So even if I don't meet him, my mind keeps on thinking. Thoughts, feeling, reaction, and then I, we return home. We are ready. We are ready for it. You know what is known that, you know? People, you know, what is that? You know? Wrestling championship. The mind is already filled with that idea and that thoughts. It has accumulated my inner honey. I like it. You should like what I like. You should not like what I dislike. Are you understanding? I'm talking of that inner honey. We don't have a time to hold on to
to think and contemplate that what I'm writing, I have asked this guy that why you are worried? Are you taking marijuana? No, I'm not taking, but I'm pissed off. As if she is taking and it goes into uh, it goes into him. Are you seeing that? That ego becomes such a stubborn, that ego becomes such a stubborn that we my mind is so much colored, mesmerized, that I cannot think the other way. Everything is fine. Only on such a small thing, I am ready to depose. Means I am ready to suffer. You see that same inner honey is going to make me suffer more. If I take any divisive step, I am going to suffer. My ego, my I love my ego. Ego is the most important than suffering. Are you understanding that? We have to change that. If we do not change, no improvement. Another part is also very important. Look at it. When you say I am stressed. It is because of this inner honey. I am happy. It is because of this inner honey. Because of my likes and dislikes. Why this inner honey wants to wants to hide the feeling of insecurity, dissatisfaction, and unhappiness in my daily life? Are analyze and observe the example of Bill Gates who says I lived loveless life for 27 years. Are you getting it? It was the inner honey. I love it most. What happens? What happens, you will never imagine. This inner honey, which is ego, lives, takes birth with the likes and dislikes, pain and the pleasure. It is ready to do any sacrifice. For the sake of, for the sake of love for the money. Now, did you understand? Yes, yes, you want to ask. There's, there's one question that I always come back to, and I wondered if you could address it. I know it's probably very subtly different, but I always ask myself this. What if you are in... A, a, say you're in a relationship and somebody's physically abusive or the the example i always come back to is hitler with the jews or putin with ukraine obviously you've got your inner ego going on but they it is you know it's going to be hurtful for you and it's not your ego going i don't understand hitler i don't understand putin um i know that's a little extreme but i always think that because it's it wouldn't it wouldn't benefit me from loving Putin um, and not taking action. Maybe. I don't know. Yes, yes. You asked a pertinent question and that is little subtler than what I talked and I wanted to talk later. But let me uh, give you a talk. So ego feeds itself. First thing to understand. Ego feeds itself on the world outside, with, on the locus outside. You know, I was just talking of this couple. So these, this couple, a, their locus is each other. 
locus says locus of a husband is wife and locus of a wife is husband first is the locus and then second is likes and dislikes right first is the locus and locus is a person and then then likes and dislikes so i come third is that i compare what my ego loves me to do everyone outside or near me should be doing the same thing if they do it i'm happy if they are not doing i'm unhappy thank god that we never we never lived with neither the hitler nor the putin so enjoy yourself your locus is not there your locus is not so you need not even think of it you already know it you understood it so nothing to worry but if the same situation is near me then we have to work on it then we have to work on it first we have to work on to get rid of this likes and dislikes get rid of this likes and dislikes huh over inner honey first step i'm briefing and then we will go next time little deeper so first is that now i'm very clear it's your life you are doing it but how you think to behave and act with me in relationship that matters me the most so sometime you have seen that sometime the male is more abusive i'm talking with reference to the same thing okay so now i am 100% clear that this guy is more abusive there is no way to make him understand better to leave him no no you know i have been so kind you know i'm so much emotional i still love him and he is abusive you are crazy your ego has taken an about turn to declare to the world like a bill gates you see i live loveless life or he can say i always loved him her but she never responded in the same way very subtle i am 100% clear now there is no like and dislike whatever the male for this in this example whatever that guy loves what is right i follow without any condition but still i see that guy is still abusive without any preferences in a biased way his mind is totally full of those likes and dislikes he cannot live or she cannot live in that level of awareness then i know what should i do without getting involved without creating my honey to prove to the world don't prove to the world prove to yourself forget about the world. normally other consideration comes what are those considerations we all know money house prestige recognition you see i have been so kind to him or her but he or she always you see my ego is still working i'm blaming others i is seeing i'm blaming others so it's a very subtle last thing and then yeah we will do it with you you follow the eastern wisdom that honey inside inner honey is crushed you have no preferences but only preference you have you follow what is right and good then you are already calm you are already calm the outer honey wants to wants to what you know wants to harass you you are not harassed you are not harassed 
You are not humiliated. You are 100% clear. Because you don't get upset, and he or she tries to make you upset, the time comes, he or she will leave you. You need not to worry about it. I'm not affected. Do whatever you want to do. Oh, you abused me. Thank you very much. You have no preferences. I know your attitude. Thank you. We have that level of tolerance. You are a great secret. It is 100% possible. I have tried this here also with many couples and in India, no, hundreds of couples. That proves that inner peace and calm is so strong. that the, any other person who fights with you has to come or has to leave you. You're already clear. You don't have any expectation. You have a higher level of endurance. You are maintaining your calmness. Your honey inside is not hurt, whatever the partner says. So it will take a couple of months. Your level of endurance is checked by the existence. And then the existence will do the best for you, the greatest for you, the best for you. That is the power of spirituality. That is what we say, the spiritual consciousness. Oh, I tolerated you three times. The fourth time, I will not tolerate you. Oh, it means you are still burning with that honey, that ego. You are holding back. The ego has taken an about time. So in that state, you are able to protect and defend yourself. But your mind is not ready to attack others. And you live into that awareness. It is possible. So, thanks God, we are neither with Hitler nor with Putin or nor with anyone likes them. <laughs> so, we are happy. Let us do our practice a bit. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Be 